Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a handler for a GitHub webhook. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create my web handler, and I'm going to do that by using the AWS Lambda function. So I'm going to come over here and go create function. And I'm going to name this function, let's say, my GitHub star webhook handler. Let's go with that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is make sure it's enabled via HTTP. So I'm going to convert it to a function URL. And I'm going to set the auth type to none. And then go create function. So that will give me a nice Lambda function that's exposable out to the internet. Next thing I'm going to do is come down to my code and I'm just going to clean up the actual handler code that we have here and let's just have it return a status code of 200. I'm also just going to add a console log just to log the event that comes in. And that's all we'll do for now. I'm now going to come over to my GitHub account and I'm going to target one of the repos that I've noticed here is starred regularly and I'm going to open that up by just clicking on this link. And then I'm gonna come over to settings. I'm gonna come down to the left hand side and select webhooks. And then ultimately I'm going to add a webhook. Now the first thing I need is the payload URL. So I'm going to come back to AWS and I'm going to grab my function URL and I can just copy the link here and come back over and paste that in the payload URL. I'm also gonna change the content type because I wanna deal with JSON. And the secret that we have here, I'm gonna apply a little bit later. Now scrolling down, I wanna actually just access an individual event. So I'm gonna click on this radio button and then I'm gonna scroll down, untoggle pushes, and then look for stars and toggle that checkbox, which is right here. And then come all the way down and click add webhook. Once I've done that, now you can see the webhook is registered. If I click on it, then I can come over to recent deliveries. And ultimately you can see that there's already been a request that's been made and it was deemed successful. So coming back over to my Lambda event handler, I'm now going to look at the logs. So I'm going to go to monitor. I'm now gonna view the logs in CloudWatch. Let's gonna open up a new tab and it's gonna show me a log stream. I'm gonna click into this. And now we can see in this second entry here, the log and the JSON that was basically pushed forward by the webhook, all right? So we've got some headers here. And ultimately we've also got the body of the message, which is a JSON string, which goes all the way down to pretty much here, I believe. So that is the JSON payload. Now the thing to understand here is that this is a specific event. This is a GitHub ping event, all right? So we're pinging. And what we're pinging for is to check if this is up and running, right? If this endpoint is up and running. So that's the important thing to understand here. This is a ping. This is not the actual star payload. Now this should mirror over what's in here. So if I basically open this here, we can see that we've got X GitHub event ping and we've got the payload. All right, so this payload that's in here, that goes all the way down the page, this matches exactly what is in this body, all right? So that matches what's in here. So with that said, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over to my code and we're gonna log a few things out. So the first thing we're gonna log out is console.log event dot headers and we're gonna grab x github event just to show you that it's actually that and the other thing we'll get is console.log 
event.body and we'll get the json.path of that. Deploy. Now what we can do is we can come back over to our webhook and we can scroll back up to the top here and we can actually re-deliver this message. So I'm going to click re-deliver and then it'll ask me if I want to do that. I'm going to say yes. And that will now send the same message as a re-delivery. So if I now go and take a look at the logs, it will come back up, come to this log stream. Now we've got a few different things, right? We've got our original message still, where we've got our headers, and that still has our GitHub event where it says ping. We've extracted that out into its own call, so we can see it now it says it there. So we know that's a ping. And then also we've got the body of the event, right? So this is the body of the ping message. Cool. But this is only for ping, right? This doesn't cater for the actual star itself. So if I come over to my source code and I decide I'm going to star this repository, so I'm going to click on star like so. What you should see now if I refresh the page is we get a new event, right? And if we look in this event, we can see now that the GitHub event is of type star. Now down here, we can see that we're getting a different payload, right? So we've got different owner information, we've got different URLs, and so on and so forth, right? And I think at the very top of this payload is what's most of interest, is that the action was created and the time it will start, right? And you can also get who did it. So I think down at the bottom, the sender was me. So that is me there, right? Cool. Now I can follow this up by looking at CloudWatch and just making sure this came through. So we'll wait for the next log to come through. And if I look at this payload now, well, first we can see we've got the star. All right, so that event is down firing. And we've also got the payload that we just saw. All right, so we've got the action created and the start and everything else. It's in here. Cool. So you might be asking, can we actually secure our webhooks? The answer is yes. And it's done via this secret field, right? So this secret field is used to share one special secret between this webhook configuration and our handler so that we can basically check for a certain signature. So how it works is like this. I'm gonna type in ABC123 as the secret here, and then I'm gonna come down and I'm just going to update the webhook. Now what this is going to do is the next time that we send a message, all right, so if I re-deliver, let's say this message, like so, and send that off, if you look what's inside here, we're now going to see that we have a X hub signature of 256, and that's set to this hash string here. So this will always be now included along with every web uh, hook request, and we need to validate that in our web hook handler, okay? So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna come over to my Lambda code, and I'm gonna add the secret key to start off with, and this is something you shouldn't do in a real Lambda function. I'm gonna add my secret key, and I'm also going to bring in something that will allow us to check the signature, which is in node crypto. Then I'm gonna write a little bit of code here just to combine both the body of the message and that header that we saw. So that will be on this line here. So what we're doing here is we're getting the secret key that we're using here and we're updating the body. So we're combining the secret key and the body together and we're generating a hex hash code and then we're adding that SHA-256 in the front here, okay? Now, what we need to do is we need to abstract the signature from the request. So that's basically in the headers. So we can grab it from headers like so. So the current signature, that comes from the event-headers. 
right, which I'll show you in a minute. And then ultimately, if these two things don't match up for whatever reason, then if the expected signature, which is what we've fetched here, is not equal to the current signature, which we've got from here, right, we need to return a 400 uh, status code indicating that we have a bad request, i.e. it wasn't GitHub that sent us this webhook message. It was something else. Cool. And that's pretty much it. Like, so you can keep all this login if you want. So what we might do is we'll just quickly log this out. So we'll just take a look at what's inside this message. And we'll also log out the, well actually, let's grab the current signature. And then we'll also get the expected signature and see if they match, all right? Cool. If I save that, then I deploy. And now we resend another message. So we're gonna re-deliver. And then yes, we're gonna select re-deliver. We've just re-delivered a new message. We can see that the tick is still working. And if we come and have a look at CloudWatch, so if we come back and look at the logs for CloudWatch, we can see that now we have two keys that match, right? Because we wrote the right algorithm. And also what you'll see is inside the original message, that header, which now has that X hub signature 256, this one here, right? So that's where that's coming from. And then the other one is coming from our message, right? And now we can see that this is a simple action where we start and that is it. Cool. Let's now come back and we'll actually star our, unstar our message. So we'll just go unstar. That will now deliver another webhook here. All right, this time it's not a re-delivery. If we check our logs again, it should come up in a second. We can see now we have a message of star as we did up here and the hashes still match, so everything's all good, but the action says deleted. If I now come up here once more, and I press on it again, then we're gonna get another message, which will come up in a moment. And there it is. Here, once again, we have the star message, and inside of the actual content, we have a created, all right? So this is pretty much how you can set up a webhook to listen for starts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all next time.